Hi everyone and welcome to the Orchid Man UK channel. This is Rob and I'm really happy you're here to watch one of the first episodes from the series about Paphiopedalum orchids that I decided to prepare for you. This is going to be a five episode series including this pilot. Uh, this series is going to be including the second episode is going to be about uh, the Paphiopedalum modi type orchids. I'm going to be talking about the variations about the alba type or the um, albino type so, so known right now, the vinicolor forms and how the modi type orchids actually came to be. I'm going to be talking about the natural environment and the care. Also, I'm going to be in the third episode, I'm going to be talking about the American and complex hybrids. I'm going to talk to you where did they come from, what is the original species they have been bred from, about some, some uh, really interesting stuff about the history and the care of those orchids. In the fourth episode, I'm going to be talking about the multifloral forms and the giants of the Paphiopedalum world, which are one of the most exciting Paphiopedalum orchids there to be and in the fifth episode I would like to make the longest episode about species and Paphiopedalum groups and this is going to be something that I'm going to spend a lot of time and probably follow it with a long list of Paphiopedalum ID videos trying to determine in each episode how to care about every single one of those orchids. Now, you might say, why should I watch this video? Because there is so much material already on YouTube about how to care about Paphiopedalum orchids. Well, first of all, I think you should watch this video because this video is being made by a person, which is me, who I absolutely love Paphiopedalum orchids. 95% of my collection are Paphiopedalum orchids from, and you can see in front of you, those are Paphiopedalum orchids from the smallest to the biggest size, from the patterned one to the normal leaf to multiflorals to the species types to complex hybrids, more D type, the classical ones and the new breads. Um, and I think, because I've seen a lot of material around YouTube and there were so many occasions when I was getting really, really frustrated because the amount of information is very very complicated and it's basically done by people who they don't love uh, Paphiopedalum orchids. They have them in their collection, they grow them, they're like oh yeah I have it, I'm happy with it when it's in bloom and I've seen so many famous YouTubers who are making Paphiopedalum uh, orchid description of how to grow them and how to care about them doing a very general video about what they have read on the internet and what do they think it's best and that they think that because they have around 20 or 30 thousand viewers on the video they know best what to do and I think that's wrong because those are people who will chuck that orchid back in the corner till it's bloomed the next time or it will die eventually because they actually thought oh yeah I'm doing it really well I bought it in flower and then the flower is dead I'm gonna chuck it away hopefully it will be bloom next year or not and um, that's why for I think right now it's a very very sad situation because Paphiopedalum orchids once they were one of the most popular orchids in the world they've been born and bred by royals by aristocrats even Queen Victoria of England was given an orchid and it was one of her favorite flowers long long time ago and I think it's really sad in the age of internet that with all the knowledge we have the knowledge about Paphiopedalum orchid is actually slightly lost because there are hundreds of books about the species that I came across for the last eight years when I was growing my orchids and those are books from the 1950s, 1970s from the reputed growers and they talk about how to grow those orchids and they go into very very in deep detail and nobody actually on the internet is talking anything about them and it's incredibly sad because as I said, you have those popular YouTubers who basically do the um, Wikipedia style information and 
they expect everyone to follow what they do and if someone says oh actually no this is wrong they get very defensive that's why I decided to in my opinion the information about Paphiopedalum orchids should be free to go to the general public and I'm going to try to do as much as, as I physically can to provide this information to every single person that will ask because Paphiopedalum orchids are not hard there is this weird thinking about the general public that those are the hardest orchids to grow actually they're not it's just the lack of knowledge how to uh, care about the culture and the type of orchids around the world that causes people to actually fail and when they reach out to find any help there is no help because the growers have this weird mentality thinking that oh I had a success so I need to keep all the information only for myself which is incredibly selfish and that's why I'm going to do those episodes only about Paphiopedalum orchids and I will try to answer as much physical questions you might ask what kind of knowledge do you have well I spent the last seven years uh, growing only Paphiopedalum orchids including some Oncidiums and Fowls because yes Fowls um, but yes, Paphiopedalum orchids go into 95% of my collection and I absolutely love those plants and I'm waiting for some of them because they never bloomed for me and I'm experimenting myself going through notes, information, books, uh, going to archives, reading about orchids and going to the specialists that some of them are dead for many years but they published amazing books with amazing details and information and I will be sharing those information based on my own experience, based on dozens of orchids, because I have around 75 Paphiopedalum orchids, and based on that I will be sharing knowledge with you. And I'm not some kind of specialist, I don't have a greenhouse, I don't have a garden, I don't have an orangery, I have a growing shelf in front of my living room window, which has some sun, some shade, various temperatures, and I live in England. That's why I don't have the perfect climate, but I'm trying to make it as close as possible to perfect. That's why I'm going to share those videos and I'm going to be extremely, extremely happy for you to be a part of this journey for Paphiopedalum orchid growers all around the world. I'm going to be extremely happy to share the information and answer all your questions you may have before the videos get published. Therefore, please join me in and hopefully we'll see this journey through to the end. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.